Hey everybody, PGL Gamer here. The second video I'm making today, like I said in the previous video, it, it was, they're both Nintendo related. The last one was about the achievement system possibly being linked. And we knew that's coming. Well, we were hoping it was coming. This next story is something that really just chaps my ass, really gets under my skin. Reggie Fizeme has said, don't pay scalpers for any as many as there will be enough stock if it sells on my Nintendo News. The quote is, I would strongly urge you not to overbid on an SES Classic. On any of the auction sites, you shouldn't have to pay more than $79.99 US dollars. Okay. Oh, oh really? Um... Reggie, Nintendo, you helped create this situation. You had shit amount of stock, even in this second round. You had shit stock on NES Classic. You made it easy for scalpers to go out there. Scalpers going to do what scalpers going to do. It's a hot item. They're going to scalp. Coming up on holiday season, which is going to be, it's going to, the people are going to scalp. It happens. I really wish... For certain things I don't know how they would do it I'm not a lawyer I'm not a legal expert in the United States but to say okay this is a hot item eBay is told you can't sell it I don't know if it's legally possible probably not I'm just speaking off the top of my head it'd be great if these big sites maybe not the small ones like Craigslist or someplace you're going to see scalpers everywhere but they say we're not taking you selling these kick them off and then these, at least on the Super NES Classics, I see a few, I think it was Walmart in Canada, Walmart somewhere else. They were canceling multiple pre-orders, which is good. There should be limits put in place. One pre-order, online or in-store, period. One per customer, period. And hopefully it would be nice to these other big sites be told, you're not reselling this for X amount of time until the main you know, amount of the, these uh, devices come out. But that is wishful thinking. I'm hoping for something that will never happen. At least, you know, somebody telling eBay. And it probably is not even legal. I, I get that. But <laughs> telling us you don't don't go buy that. Or they keep saying stock is going to get better. Stock is going to get better. Okay, well, Nintendo, you made this situation. People are fed up. And I lost interest in trying to get a Super S Classic because they're all sold out already. And the scalpers are everywhere. I don't know what else to say about this. I'm not hating on Nintendo. I'm not hating on Reggie. But don't do the, speak the obvious. Of course, we shouldn't have to go to a scalper. But you created the situation. You fucking said, made too little of this product. I'm, not, I'm stuttering here. It's a piece of plastic box with a little board in it. They've already shown pictures of the open NES Classic. It was nothing to it. It's an emulator box with a very, very, very small and cool custom. I say it's cool because it can power on almost instantly. It is a Linux kernel in there. It's a very customized sort of it thing like the Pi, but it's just one thing and it just boots up. You turn it off and on real fast. It, that's cool the thing about it. Never seen any of them and I probably never will. I literally have never seen any of these, even in resale shops around my area. Sad. They're in my area on Facebook and all these other places resale. People want $200 for them. I'm like, fuck you. I, I don't care enough to do that. But Nintendo, a simple ass device like this, you have no excuse. Real, not, you have very few excuses. I get like the Switch was competing for, I think, memory chips with the iPhone that happens but a little board with a little tiny bit of on board storage and memory and I I think it was an all winter processor at least the NES classic one was very small board a piece of plastic case some switches a USB input for power HDMI and those two it's a pie it's a very customized thing like is like a pie so I I have no I don't feel bad for you Nintendo that you can't make enough of them you're doing this, I feel, on purpose. And that, or you are really trying this time and you're still not doing it, whether you're focusing more on the Switch. But I would just say if you can't do it right, you shouldn't release this one at this time. Released it next year sometime. 
So that's pretty much what Reggie says. Don't go to a scalper. You shouldn't have to. You should only pay $79.99 US dollars. Well, I'm, thank you, Reggie. I'm glad you said that. And I actually say there's a positive note that they came out and said that. But I really can't take a lot of stock into it when this is pretty much Nintendo's fault. <laughs> it's Nintendo's fault that this shit is happening that the stock is so low and a lot of people like me have never seen an NES classic in the wild and, and or I have not seen one ever if I saw one I'd probably stop trip about run over you know just like oh my god it exists I've never seen it it's that bad a stock in my area it's sad so what do you tell me what you think in the comments below I'm not trying to hate on anybody or Nintendo or Reggie or anything but Stating the obvious, Reggie, is not really going to help the fact. The fact is Nintendo needs to get these things made. They need to get them out in stores and put them so much out there that, that scalpers just don't have a chance. Then you wouldn't have to tell people to don't go to scalpers, right? So again, everything should pop up on the screen. Subscribe and share. Tell me what you think. I get he's trying to be nice about it, but stating the obvious, just when Nintendo creates this problem, just kind of burns me in the wrong way. It rubs me the wrong way. All right, everybody. Picky old gamer. Out.